Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Pal. I'm really excited today to show you that uh, some of the tomatoes are really starting to ripen. So i uh, got some really nice ones here. I've been lucky enough to get two of these already that we've eaten and uh, both my wife and I agreed that they were pretty much like the tastiest tomatoes we've had. Like this is like what tomatoes are supposed to taste like. Not the stuff you buy in the store that's just like, who knows. <laughs> But anyway, they look great, but they don't taste good. But these are amazing. So I'm not sure exactly, you know, I might give these another day or two, but um, these are just so wonderful. I might take this one. Um, they just taste so amazing. There's a bunch here. You can see in the back here too, there's more. You know, there's like a couple more back there. There's some really nice, huge ones here. You can see from the size of my hand. I mean, these are just getting massive. This one's huge. And um, there's a bunch up here on this side, over here, here. These purple ones are starting to look really great. Um, you can see a bunch in there. Uh, they're still not ripe, because underneath they're still green, but uh, the tops are starting to look really great. Very cool black. This one here too. Um, just a very cool color. It's really neat. And uh, it looks like I missed uh, an opportunity here. There's some uh, already kind of they got eaten by something down there. I gotta get in there and uh, maybe pick the one that's still looking all right. Um, yeah, so still a learning process for me because I didn't really um, do a good job of staking the tomatoes. So I should have like, you know, had them less kind of falling over. You can see like these are just being dragged down by the fruit. Same over here. There's a bunch kind of down low on the, f on the floor. There's stuff here between the squash. Got a bunch of uh, tomatoes kind of falling down over here in the back. Um, that's all right though. It's a learning process. I don't mind if I lose some. Didn't really take too much effort to uh, get the ones that we did get. And you can see a bunch of flowers here for the squash. Um, you can see just the corn is doing amazing. You can see how tall it is. I mean, it's way taller than me at this point. And uh, you can see a bunch of corn already starting to form here. So you, know, you got one, two, I don't know, third one down there. Um, you know, so you get maybe three or four on, on these uh, stalks. You get a bunch over here. This cool like red type. I don't know. They seem to be a little bit different. Or maybe they're just... I don't know. I'm not even too familiar with corn. I used all the same seed. Uh, I think there was one corn seed that I got from my son's uh, preschool. That was like a specialty kind of red corn. So that one, there might be one different colored one. But uh, yeah, everything's just doing really well. Haven't been out here in a couple days. Uh, didn't have time to show you guys what was going on. Just been getting more and more zucchinis, but you can see uh, we got this uh, Hungarian type of squash. Uh, this is a Doboshitok, I think. Um, I'm not sure though, because I got a couple different kinds and I'm not sure which one is which. I got some seeds from my mom. That might be the Doboshi. This one over here. But anyway, there's a bunch and there's different kinds. So I think that one is probably the same as this one over here. And that other one might be slightly different, although maybe just those bumps appear later, I don't know. But as you can see, there's a bunch here. There's more over here, uh, right down there. Um, trying to direct it kind of coming out this way so that it's not gonna come out to the front and get all over the uh, zucchinis and the, um, and the smaller tomatoes out here. Um, you can see uh, more zucchinis in here. Got a bunch of zucchinis. I should probably harvest this yellow one. That's a nice one. Um, I have picked out a bunch of green ones and more yellow ones. Just been eating zucchinis like crazy. Oh, this is, you can see the, the black tomatoes really wonderfully from here. Um, they're just so beautiful. I, I can't wait to be eating these. They're very close to being ripe though, I would say. Let's see if we can get a ripe one. No, this is still pretty hard underneath. Yeah, they're still kind of green underneath, but I think maybe, I keep saying this, but probably another few days, maybe another week or two, I don't know, <laughs> at this rate. I gotta pick out these other tomatoes from in here. There's so many tomatoes that we're gonna have down here too. I mean, just you can see, there's just tons and tons of tomatoes. Um, and look at the size of these guys back here. Wow, just so nice. Um, I got tomatoes here, like on the side here. Just everywhere, everywhere. There's just so much growth. Everything's happening. Look at this little tomato plant right here. We got a tomato on it right now already. So um, it's just wonderful. Even the uh, really late 
planted eggplant. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna start growing. So those are eggplants. Got a little bit of sage going here, finally starting to do well. Um, so that's nice. Got my physalis growing. I still have high hopes for that. If not, I'll do a, a batch next year. So um, yeah, just the learning process. You know, I keep keep uh, feeling like just really blessed that uh, anything is growing. Like this was really an experiment for this year, just starting to learn. And the fact that I've gotten anything uh, is just made me incredibly happy. Like I'm just really thrilled about how much stuff is growing. I can't wait for the corn to start ripening. Nothing beats just take the corn and you know throw it in the fire, open fire. That is just my favorite way to eat it. Look at this zucchini, holy cow. This thing was like two, three inches like two days ago when I came by. Look how nice it is, gonna harvest that guy. And got a lot of um, the beans growing up the corn as well. I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I did a video a little while back about the Three Sisters um, you know, method of uh, having corn and squash and beans. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys, you know, these are the beans. Um, you can see these wonderful little flowers. Let me try to get a little bit better shot for you. Um, and they are really quite nice. They have these really nice flowers on them. And you can see these are actually the uh, little bean pods starting to form. Um, there's a bunch all over the place. I didn't do as good enough of a job uh, as I think I should have in getting them to start running up the corn. So some of them did, like this guy over here. That's doing great. And this guy's doing good too. You can see some beans going over here. This is like a white bean or something. You can see the little beans right here. Um, you can see some more red ones down there. But some of them just didn't really kind of get the message. and. Uh, uh, I didn't do a good job of picking them up. So I got a bunch just kind of growing down here, like like way down here. You can see some down here. There's this beautiful red flower, and then it's gonna start, you know, forming these little um, bean pods. Let me try and get close here. Sorry for the lighting, it's a bit tough to see. But they're wonderful. I mean, they just look so beautiful. It's just so much fun to be out here and, uh, you know, just seeing this stuff. It's just awesome. You can see a lot of corn of these guys over here too. That's a nice little, you know, uh, corn forming over here. Um, yeah, it's just really great. I'm like super thrilled. Got one starting right here as well. And just way more zucchinis back here. Another beautiful one here. I'm gonna really have to start uh, doing some canning again. <clears throat> I'm gonna do some like zucchinis together with tomatoes and peppers and um, get some stuff uh, you know put away for the winter so it's just wonderful I'm like probably said that a couple times already you got to get out here and mow the lawn again it's just been crazy been really busy and uh, most of our raspberries are now done so that's you know that's pretty much finished for the season I'm probably gonna start kind of trimming some back and Maybe in, in a, like at the end of the summer, I'm gonna start planting some in different places. Our apricot tree is doing great. The peach tree died, unfortunately, as I've said before. I'm gonna leave it in there. Maybe it'll, you know, throw some new shoots in the, uh, um, you know, next spring, but we'll see. Still get the odd raspberry here and there. Oh yeah, there's still enough in here. I should really come in here and pick some more. Look at these things, they're just so wonderful. I just love raspberries. Had so many this summer, it's been awesome. Um, got some more flowers on the strawberries, so hopefully we're gonna get some more strawberries going. The mulch is definitely, I think, done good for them. So, uh, you can see some more strawberries come in here. There's a nice flower over there. And, um, yeah, these are the ever bearing, as I talked about in the previous video. So they should keep, um, you know, getting us some strawberries. There's another flower back here. Some more fruit forming down here and here and um, the uh, what do you call this the uh, persimmon doing pretty good although my brother says maybe I should stake this out here I don't know if I should maybe I should just get rid of this thing maybe I should stake it I'll ask him again it's starting to lean a little bit I'm not sure if that's too good and um, these corn are doing great too you can just see a bunch forming down there um, the strawberries back here are now mulched. This is doing great. 
apple trees putting out a bunch of new shoots. You can see this is the little seedling that I planted second. You can see a bunch of new growth here. Um, some of these really unhealthy looking leaves are starting to, you know, kind of really get broken up. But um, it's definitely still alive. It's getting more and more woody and putting out a lot of growth. So I'm not too worried about it. I think it'll do all right. Uh, still haven't planted the third blueberry yet, which is a bit sad. Um, just time, lack of time. Gooseberry's doing great. Uh, you can really see a bunch of new growth, putting out the little barbs here. Um, doing awesome. So I hope, hopeful that will uh, really shoot off, uh, you know, take off next year. Shoot out a lot of new growth. Um, our uh, elderberry is going to be uh, coming in really soon. I would say probably like another couple of weeks, maybe at the most. You can see I got a couple um, spots that are pretty much ripe. Like that is that is pretty much good to go. And uh, you can see a few of the other darker spots are going to be, um, you know, coming out here too. You got a lot on here. So, you know, I did, did the video a long time ago about pruning these things. I mean, I, I pruned this back to about here. This is all new growth. So you can just see that uh, heavy pruning of the um, elderberries does, does not harm them. <laughs> um, I'm going to probably have to prune them again because they're already going over the fence into the neighbor's yard again. So yeah, these things are doing great. This is the, the uh, first apple tree that I planted here and um, it's really tall. Um, it's probably close to a foot tall now. Got a lot of new growth here again. Um, starting to look better. This, you know, had some diseased leaves too. Not really sure what's attacking it. There are a lot of ants around here. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily bad. Um, I'm not going to do anything about it, honestly. Just try and keep the grass out and uh, you know, just let it keep growing and then we'll see what it does. Got the horseradish here. That's doing great. Um, probably dig some of that up in the fall time and uh, show you guys how I like to uh, make it with the, um, uh, what do you call it, beets. Put it away for like pickling beets. Plums are starting to ripen. Um, there's a bunch that are just falling from the tree, but these are not uh, good. So these are kind of like super hard and they look almost like they're going to be ripe, but they're not. So um, yeah, these are just super hard, not tasty at all. Uh, I'm not really sure what the... Uh, cause of this is why it's losing so many it did this last year too but um, the ones that stay on the tree do uh, do ripen and they do taste pretty good so I'm not too concerned about this I just rake them up and throw them in the compost pile and uh, yeah you can see there's there's still just so much fruit on the tree it's crazy um, I gotta learn some more about this stuff but uh, yeah you can see just a lot of fruit here down at the bottom branches so, um, yeah, none of this is ripe yet, but it's getting close. This is starting to purple up nicely. Oh, see, but this is another hard one. This would have just fallen off. This isn't, uh, this isn't the good stuff yet. So, yeah, hope you guys like that. Um, really just happy about the tomatoes and everything, too. And I'm going to get to work now, and I'll see you guys in another update. Thanks, everybody, for subscribing and signing up. Really appreciate it, and uh, yeah, looking forward to showing you guys another update as the summer progresses. See you. Bye. Sorry, guys. Just one more thing. Bonus raspberry. I'm over here by the uh, compost pile, and there's this other type of raspberry that's growing here. This is the uh, um, thornless type, and um, look at the size of this thing. Wow. And it's like as big as my thumb. This is like quite possibly the nicest raspberry I've seen. Uh, in the garden right now. It's just absolutely perfect. Just growing right here, you know, by the compost pile. Definitely going to be transplanting some of these, uh, this variety to the other areas of the yard because this stuff is just amazing. This, this is probably one of the nicest raspberries in the whole property. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to eat this. See you guys. Bye.